Good morning, everyone. Yes, it's dark. No, I can't see you. It's 5 o'clock in the morning, but listen to this. Yeah, it's raining. And guess what I don't like? I don't like the rain. So guess who's not getting up in it? Me. I'm sleeping in today, baby. Good morning, everyone. What's this on my face? I blood. Anyway, good morning, everyone. It's day something something on the Appalachian Trail. It's two hours later, and the rain has stopped, finally. I was not getting out in the rain. That just wasn't happening. Hmm. I really don't want to get out of the tent. Don't want to do it. But I have to, because we have to go hiking. Gotta make it to Katahdin. Yay! Everything I own is wet. So I'm hoping to get to Mount Greylock Summit, and the sun will be out. And the wind will be blowing so I can dry all my stuff out. What is that, 2.6 miles? Let's go. Getting closer, but the wind's picking up. Where is Mount Greylock? Y'all hear the wind? Getting close to the summit, one mile. I swear I've gone farther than that. I should be closer anyway. Oh. We're at Appalachian Trail, Trailhead, Rockwell Road, Williamstown, Mount Greylock State Reservation. You can go hiking or check out that dude's skiing. That looks cool. Anyway, I'm ready to dry my junk out. The sun peaks out every so often. It peaks out for a little bit. Let's see. Sun's like right, right there. It comes out of the clouds. What I really need, I need a strong wind and sun to dry all my junk out. Getting closer to summit, 0.75 miles. Mount Greylock is the highest point in Massachusetts. So we'll reach the highest point in Massachusetts and then we should also meet, uh, oh, we're leaving Massachusetts today, going to Vermont. Taking care of business. Oh, the sun's coming out. Oh, good, oh, good. And the sky is starting to clear up too. Y'all see the blue sky coming? Whew. Let me tell you, everything I own, wet. Can y'all hear my boots? When I step in my boots, they go squish. <laughs> yeah, I'm wet, baby. Are y'all familiar with Henry David Thoreau, Walden Pond? Look at that. Look at this. Boy, if this weren't on a state park, I could stay here. This pond's, there's a little cabin over there. I have water. I can go swimming. Man, it's on top of a mountain. This is nice. This is real nice. Greylock Summit, point four. Let's go. Uh, almost to the summit and Bascom Lodge. Oh, I think we go that way. Whoo. Oh. It was as well to be educated in the shadow of a mountain as the more classical stayed. Some will remember, no doubt, not only that not only that they that they went to college, but that they went to the mountain. Henry David Thoreau, who was I just talking about? Hell yeah. It were as well to be educated in the shadow of a mountain as in more classical stead. Some will remember, no doubt, not only that they went to college, but that they went to the mountain. Two different types of education. All right. Where's the summit? Where is the summit they're talking about? Oh, oh, summit and war memorial. Oh, oh baby, highest point in Massachusetts. Here we come. Henry David Thoreau. Oh yeah, heck yeah, we're in America, baby. This is America, America. All right, all right. Oh, boy. It's to be oh, a lot of people drove up here. I walked. Let's see, Mount Greylock 
Mount Greylock. Elevation 3,491 feet. 600 million years ago, this area was under a warm, shallow ocean. As the underlying tectonic plates shifted, their continents collided, pushing the land upward into a great range of mountains. The ocean sediments were compressed with tremendous pressure and heat, forming the quartzite, marble, and schist of Mount Greylock. 300 million years of continual, continual erosion by wind and rain that created the landscape we see. Today, the site is part of the 12,500-acre Mount Greylock State Reservation. The Appalachian Trail, on its way from Georgia to Maine, hell yeah, crosses this summit. Mount Greylock inspires riders and artists, challenges hikers and skiers, and provides a home for flora and fauna not found anywhere else in Massachusetts. Can I climb that tower? Let's go climb the tower. So Mount Greylock, oh, here, this is a, this is the reservation, I guess. So Mount Greylock is right there, Mount Greylock Summit. The Appalachian Trail, you can see the Appalachian Trail goes along that ridge. That's what we've been on. And it goes, the town of Cheshire is down there. That's where I was yesterday. Came up, came up, came up, came up. Now Mount Greylock. Whew. All right, let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go up. Oh. AT, white blaze, obey the white blaze. <laughs> oh. Erected by Massachusetts in great and grateful recognition of the loyalty and sacrifice of her sons and daughters in war. They were faithful even into death, onto death. Heck yeah. Oh, this is it, baby. Oh. Well, let's walk around before we go up that. Do a walk around. Oh. Massachusetts Veteran War Memorial. So we're going to climb the staircase in a moment and go up to the top. Oh. Oh, there goes a day hiker. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is it. Oh, this is nice. I wonder if you can see the uh, Atlantic Ocean from here. All right, the AT probably goes, uh, I don't know, I'm thinking the AT goes this way somewhere. Oh, no, AT's over there, you see that pole? That's the Appalachian Trail. Oh. A radio tower over there. Uh, I wanna go up the staircase. Oh. Alright, let's read this. Mount Grey Lock, elevation 3,491 feet. Oh, I hiked them all, baby. Take a deep breath and enjoy the view. You're at the peak of the highest mountain in Massachusetts. The summit of Mount Greylock features the only subalpine environment in Massachusetts. Because of the high elevation and westerly winds, there is a wide temperature range from winter to summer, from day to night. This summit is the centerpiece of Mount Greylock State Reservation, designated in 1898. Mount Greylock became the first state reservation in Massachusetts State Forest Park System. Established on less than 400 acres, the reservation has grown to nearly 12,000 acres. Nice. All right, let's go. Let's go. I'm just going to wear my pack in. So, those immortal dead who live again in minds made better by their presence. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders fields. Sleep well, heroic souls, in silent sleep, lapped in the circling arms of kindly death. 
Grim death has vanished, leaving in its stead the shining glory of the living dead. Life has no life to him that dares not to die. Life is no life to him that dares not to die. Life is no life to him that dares not to die. Sometimes you have to put it out there. Sometimes you have to put it out there. Man, how many people go through life and never truly live? Life is no life to him that dares not to die. There we go. There we go. That's the warrior spirit right there. Warrior spirit. Let's go up this thing. Warrior spirit. Cheshire, that's where we're coming from. Cheshire, the Berkshire is not a Lake Pittsfield. So that's south. That's where we're coming from. Let's see if we can see the range. All right, y'all see this? That ridge. We've been coming up this ridge. Down there is Cheshire. Let's see if we can focus out there. Uh, all right, Cheshire's out there, and then we came up that ridge. Sorry, I can't focus through the glass. But that's where we came from, looking south. Looking east, Mount Monadnock, Mount Wachusett, Adams, the Sake River Valley. It's looking east, and way out there, the Atlantic. Uh, Looking north, the Adirondacks of New York, Williamstown, the Green Mountains of Vermont. Hey, hey, we're going there today. Green Mountains of Vermont, North Adams. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going that way. Vermont. Vermont's right over there. We'll be there shortly. Looking west, Hudson River Valley, Taconic Range, Albany, New York, Berlin Mountain. Uh. All right, guys, I'm gonna put the phone down and go back downstairs. <laughs> Look at this pretty view from Mount Greylock. Isn't it so nice? There's some kind of town down there. We're way up above. It looks as if you can just like step off and jump off and fly. I'm not gonna try it. Then you have the view and then you have all this. <laughs> ah, true through hiker. True through hiker. There's some more up there. That's how you have to do it. Some more down here. Yeah, it's a pretty view until you see all the nasty through hikers. <laughs> Look, it's Charlie Brown's Christmas tree. <laughs> oh, that's funny. 
That is funny. I like wool socks, but boy, they take a while to dry. But thankfully, check that out. Sunshine, man. Sunshine. Sun and wind. Whew. Whew. I think the tent's dry. The tent usually dries pretty quickly. Darn tough socks, wool socks. They take a while. Oh, I forgot to say, I just like brushed my teeth for the first time in like, it seems like it's been a month. And I also flossed. Whew. If you haven't flossed in a while, when you floss, it, it was like I butchered an animal inside my mouth. I was just like spitting blood and guts. It was disgusting. But I feel better. Check out this glider. He just did this crazy turn. The wind is carrying him. Mm. Now that's a cool way to fly. There you go, he's turning back this way. This guy in the glider, man, he's just out here having fun. Would y'all like to see what trench foot looks like? Here, I'll show you. All right, let's see. Which foot is the worst one? I know. Oh, look at that bad boy. <laughs> look at my pinky toe. What is that? Oh, 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 what about the other foot? What's going on with the other foot? This one didn't look as bad. Yeah. But I like dry feet. That's why I'm drying my socks. A park ranger came up and started talking to us. I'm pretty sure someone complained about the homeless encampment I set up. And uh, so they sent the park ranger out. But by that time, by the, by the time the park ranger got there, I had mostly packed everything up. So it just looked like I was another person out there with a backpack, you know, not really a homeless encampment. So she didn't say anything, but I'm pretty sure she was out there to kick us out. Ah, uh, life of a backpacker. Look at this people. Very nice, well-maintained trail, well-maintained trail. Okay. Then the moment you get on the Appalachian Trail, the moment you step onto the Appalachian Trail, mud! <laughs> Welcome to the Appalachian Trail Show. Whoa. Another quote. Mountains seem to have been built for the human race as at once their schools and their cathedrals. John Ruskin. I'm, I'm familiar with a lot of symbols, but not this one. To me, that guy looks like he's cruising for a bruising. Look at that. Okay. Nice paid parking lot. Nice. Nice. The moment you get on the Appalachian Trail, this. What is this? Why? Why? Why can't the Appalachian Trail be nice like the other trails? <sighs> Call this the Appalachian Trail Show. The pain and suffering show. The grind till you make it to Katahdin show. The no pain, no rain, no main show. And this is what we deal with. Hey, this is actually nice. This is actually nice for the Appalachian Trail. I've seen worse. I've seen a lot worse. <laughs> Part of me is very envious. Of all the people that just drove up the mountain, hopped out of the car, looked at the pretty view, ate a nice lunch at the lodge, and then hopped back in their car and drove home. <laughs> oh, that must be the life. <laughs> Cause I had to walk up here through the rain <laughs> and the wet and get trench foot to see that view. I had to sacrifice my blood and flesh to see that view. You know, part of me isn't envious. Part of me pities them.
because they had to drive a car. This, my friends, is the Appalachian Trail. And oh, nice, you say. They have a log that you can walk on. Okay, walk on that log and die. <laughs> Those logs are like booby traps for hikers. You step on that, you're on your butt. So it's better just to go through the mud. This is the genius of the Appalachian Trail. By trail runners, they said. You don't need Gore-Tex boots, they said. Okay. <laughs> cool story, bro. By trail runners, they said. You don't need Gore-Tex boots, they said. Okay. Cool story, bro. By trail runners, they said. You don't need Gore-Tex boots, they said. <laughs> I think again about that. Anyway, I'm not going to walk through it just because I want my boots to be dry. But a common criticism of Gore-Tex boots is that they take too long to dry. Phooey! Phooey! My friend has trail runners. I have Gore-Tex leather boots. Guess which shoes dry first? Neither. They're both slow. <laughs> trail runners. At least my feet stay dry for four hours in the rain. Well, whereas if you're wearing trail runners, you're immediately soaked. There's nothing between you and that. I can walk through that. Trail runners, hi, good luck with that. Good luck with trench foot. <laughs> I know I said we were going into Vermont today. I don't think that's going to happen. I spent a little too much time drying my stuff out. That was a necessity. I, could, I, I wasn't hiking with wet clothes and wet gear and wet everything anymore. So Vermont, Vermont, we might have to wait till tomorrow. But it'll be early tomorrow. Gunshots may be heard from nearby firing range. I hope they're not firing at us. Then again, correct me if I'm wrong. I may be wrong. But if you hear the bang from a gunshot... You're okay. If you hear the crack, that means it's close. The struggle for dry feet, it never ends. Oh, oh yeah. Never ends. <laughs> I'm not proud of the way my feet look. They look disgusting i just met some cross-country skiers in the middle of august can you believe it i couldn't i didn't i couldn't even see the snow because there is no snow they were training on these skates they, they had their ski poles and then these skates that function as skis and they were they were skiing down the road it was pretty neat i've got footage oh see he's skiing on the road whoa It can't be true. It can't be true. 1600! Woo! Woo! At this point, I have 598.4 miles left. Yeah, that sounds like a big number, but I just hiked 1600! Woo! I'm going crazy. If I weren't already, if I weren't already crazy, I'm crazy now. You can't see me. You can't see me. This is not cool. This is not cool. Okay, I'm gonna have to go to that side because people have tried to walk down this side. You can see them slipping into the mud. Oh, this is not cool. Welcome to the Appalachian Trail, baby. Woo! On the Appalachian Trail, the fun never ends. It never ends. Oh, this is fun. Hike the Appalachian Trail, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Huh? They need to be quiet. We were walking, we're walking in this town and this nice lady stepped out and she asked us if we wanted water and popsicles. I'm like, yes, I want water and popsicles. Thank you, Betsy, for the trail magic. Got popsicle and a bottle of water. And she said there's more trail magic up the road. Word. Listen to this traffic sign, man. Attitude. Wait. What? Wait. No. Wait. You want me to do what? Wait. Why? He's got attitude in his voice. You need to check yourself, bro. Oh! <laughs> Crossing a bridge. I don't This is some river. I don't know what river this is. Anyway, you see this nice artwork on the side of the bridge? That's about my level, you know, of artistic ability. <laughs> Finger painting. I can do that. 
I don't know, this might be better than what I can do. Ugh. You're going to be okay. Says who? I believe this is the last glimpse the sun will get until tomorrow. Night, sun. Good night. It is now 6.59.15. You don't see that on the watch. I'm at Sherman Brook campsite outside of North something, Massachusetts. I'm done for the night. It's only been like 11, 12 miles. Whew, time to set up and go to bed.